Those with low incomes were given checks as part of the stimulus package. No, you did not misunderstand me. In the event that certain conditions are met, checks for stimulus will be distributed. It is the fourth update to the stimulus check. There is some very exciting news that we would like to share with you today regarding the stimulus checks that are being distributed almost immediately to assist those who are in need. And the concept that underpins the mechanism is to offer additional immediate assistance to individuals without the necessity of engaging in lengthy legislative debates or negotiations. When it comes to saving the economy at a time when it is in dire need of it, this is an excellent mechanism. One of the most attractive aspects of this idea is that it eliminates the uncertainties and delays that are normally associated with the process of passing new legislation. That appears to be a brilliant strategy for quickly reacting to the challenges that the economy is facing. And you might be right, but these automatic stabilizers would serve as a defense mechanism, much like a safety net program, and they would be ready to deploy whenever they are required to do so. Nevertheless, the most, the most attractive aspect of this idea is that it eliminates the uncertainties and delays that are associated with the process of passing new legislation each time an economic crisis is on the horizon. So, moreover, the purpose of these stimulus checks is to provide assistance to individuals with low incomes. This includes individuals who receive fixed incomes, such as those who receive Social Security retirees, those who have disabilities, those who receive SSDI, survivors, SSI recipients, veterans and RRB. As the need for financial support is an urgent matter, I completely understand that many of you are eager to learn when those additional roundup stimulus checks will be distributed. That is because the need for the financial support is a pressing condition. As we move forward, before we delve into all the specifics, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the extraordinary and difficult times that we are currently experiencing. It has been an extraordinary few years, and if we are to be realistic, we can anticipate that the years to come will be even more fraught with uncertainty. On the other hand, before we proceed, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for being here with me today. Please take a moment to subscribe to this site if you are new to this site or if you have not done so already. It does not cost anything at all. In addition, I am here to provide you with all the most recent information and to keep you updated on what is occurring in the economy and the world, both of which are undergoing rapid change. All right, gentlemen, the United States Congress has been working hard on a variety of bills, packages, proposals and initiatives in order to address the changing economic landscape. These efforts are now encompassing a wide range of measures, some of which include financial assistance, benefit programs, and even pay raises. We are currently experiencing a significant shift in the economic landscape of our country, which is the reason for the flurry of activity that we are witnessing. Moreover, it is of the utmost importance to have a solid understanding of what is actually taking place, what is undergoing specific transformations, and what opportunities may be readily available to you. The All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty of the situation. At this point, many of you have been wondering why there is such a significant amount of discussion regarding additional stimulus checks. Uh, the truth of the matter is that there is a growing sense of urgency among the people, as evidenced by the fact that concerns about the future are being expressed. It is possible to use analogies and metaphors to describe something similar to the current situation which is causing clouds to appear on the horizon. It is possible that you have recently become familiar with those expressions through the reading of recent news articles and a number of the stories. The reason I am drawing attention to this particular fact is because there is, in fact, something that is not typical taking place. The United States of America and our economy as a whole are about to undergo a number of significant shifts in the near future. Because of this, it is an extremely important point for the economy. And I wanted to emphasize that the primary driver of these stimulus checks is not solely our collective efforts such as sending letters, making these videos, leaving voicemails and asking Congress to provide our financial relief rather. The primary driver is the fact that our economy is in a state of decline. Yes, you did hear it correctly, especially with regard to the labor market. This is the point at which things start to take a very interesting turn. Furthermore, in order for this to have an effect on you, it is not necessary for you to be actively participating in the job market. The rate of unemployment, the rate of labor participation, the number of new jobs created and the number of jobs lost. The metrics listed here are some of the ones that are of the utmost importance. In essence, they tell us whether our economy is stable or whether it is experiencing difficulties. Right up until very recently, the unemployment rate has been remarkably low, which is a positive sign that indicates a robust economy. This has been the case up until very recently. On the other hand, there is a sword with two edges. Throughout the course of history, a low unemployment rate leaves some room for additional improvement. This means that the only way for them to move is upward. On the other hand, this is the point at which a number of specialists are voicing their concerns, indicating that it is possible that the unemployment rate will approach nearly 7.3% in the not-too-distant future. At this point, why is 7.3% such an important percentage? This is due to the fact that a reaction is triggered whenever the unemployment rate reaches this level, or even gets closer to 7.3%. As a consequence of this, policymakers in Congress begin actively working to find a solution to the problem. They have an understanding that a rate of unemployment that is so high is historically a cause for concern. Oh. 
particularly when we take into consideration the most recent few years. A few years ago, there were some discussions about the possibility of implementing automatic stabilizers for the economy. This is used to illustrate the point that I am making. In addition, these are the mechanisms that would automatically activate a stimulus check in the event that a particular threshold for the unemployment rate was reached. Unfortunately, these suggestions did not end up being implemented. But on the other hand, this serves as an important reminder that whenever the labour market suffers a severe blow, the government must intervene in a very, very short amount of time in order to provide some form of financial relief, in order to save the economy. But consequently, the current state of affairs that we are experiencing is not the new normal, even if it is the new normal. Our economy, like the flow of the ocean, goes through natural cycles. This is similar to how the ocean flows. In order to determine whether or not an additional round of stimulus checks is required, the unemployment rate is an extremely important factor to take into consideration. Therefore, it is imperative that we maintain a vigilant watch over these economic indicators. Rest assured that significant financial support will be mobilized even if you are not directly part of the job market. If you see the unemployment rate reaching or inching towards 7.3%, you can be sure that this support will be mobilized. To tell you the truth, this is a very interesting subject that has a significant impact on our economy and by extension on our financial well-being. It has been brought to our attention that stimulus checks play a crucial role in providing individuals with support for themselves during these difficult times. What I would like to talk about today, however, is a mechanism that has the potential to result in the distribution of the stimulus check. And it is a concept that is unfamiliar to a significant number of people. Automatic stabilizers are what it is. Now, in order to demonstrate this, allow me to take you back in time a few years ago to the time when a group of legislators proposed the introduction of automatic stabilizers into the economy. What exactly are these automatic stabilizers? You might be wondering at this point as well. As a matter of fact, those are, in essence, checks that are used to stimulate the economy, and they are activated by a particular threshold when our economy reaches a particular threshold, when our economy reaches a particular threshold. In the event that particular conditions are satisfied, and given that those conditions are specifically connected to the unemployment rate, then a stimulus check will be distributed. Imagine this for a moment. When the unemployment rate reaches a certain threshold, for example, 5%, an automatic stabilizer is activated and a stimulus check is automatically distributed to residents in order to provide them with financial relief. Consequently, in the event that the unemployment rate continues to rise, for example, to 5.8% or even 6%, an additional roundup stimulus check will be automatically distributed in order to provide the necessary financial relief. An additional stimulus check will be triggered in the event that the unemployment rate continues to rise at its current rate. As the unemployment rate continues to rise, for example, by 7%, 8%, and so on, this pattern continues. To begin, the mechanism was conceived with the intention of delivering additional immediate assistance to individuals without the necessity of lengthy legislative debates or negotiations. When it comes to saving the economy at a time when it is in dire need of it, this is an excellent mechanism. As you read this, you might be thinking that this sounds like a brilliant way to react quickly to the challenges that the economy is facing. And you might be right, but these automatic stabilizers would serve as a defense mechanism, similar to a safety net program which is ready to deploy whenever it is required to do so. Every time there is a potential for an economic crisis, it eliminates the uncertainties and delays that are associated with the process of passing new legislation. However, there is a catch, that's for sure. Despite the fact that this concept was often debated, it was never enacted into law. With regard to the implementation of automatic stabilizers such as these, Congress did not take the necessary